Yo, I'm making a 3D modeling software. It's called Fridge for right now, and the cool thing about it is that instead of using polygon meshes, it creates the actual code used to render the 3D objects, using the same equations as from my earlier video. This makes it really easy to do cool things, like infinite repetition or folding a shape into a sphere. Since it's all based on math, if you want to do any kind of transform to the shapes, all you have to do is find the inverse of the transform and apply that to the input point. Kinda like how in math class, if you want to move a graph to the right by 5 units, all you do is subtract 5 from your input variable. To show the software off a little, I'm going to use it to make this Subway Surfers game in this video. We're going to start by modeling the bridge for the player to run on. I started with a base rectangle, and then I added a couple stones on top for a little bit of detail. Next, I used the infinite repetition feature to make the bridge infinitely long, and then I added a little wall on the side to finish the model off. Next, we're going to do some background details. I wanted to make some cool spirally pillars for the background, so I started with four boxes, and then I twisted them together and repeated them infinitely in the vertical direction. While I was making the pillars, I also made this cool shape, which I thought was interesting enough for the game, so I saved it for later. Then I went and made a model for the player. I put a little pattern on the back, and I actually gave it a face, but I realized once I made the game that you can't see it, which makes me a little bit sad. With all the models out of the way, I started on the actual game by importing the bridge. My 3D modeling software doesn't actually do colors yet, so I still have to do them all by hand. And it's a little bit more difficult than it seems like it would be, because especially for a 3D game, color includes lighting. And since I don't really have any art background, it takes a long time for me to kind of guess what realistic lighting should look like. I looked back over it and I saved more than 50 different video clips of different normal maps and colors and specular highlights before I finally got to something that I thought looked usable. Big takeaway is that I need to learn color theory. Once I finally figured the colors out, I went to Desmos and I made a quick random looking function to distribute the obstacles, and I imported that to the game. Then I added the player along with some movement controls to finish it. I wasn't actually planning on making this video, but I realized that the couple videos I am working on right now are going to take me a couple months to actually finish, so I thought I'd give this one out and I might make a couple other shorter videos before I put out the big ones. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.